Before I start, I do want to tell you guys that I'm doing a Yeezy giveaway. It is actually not just Yeezy, it's actually a Yeezy mask. It is the zebra mask right here. In order to enter, all you gotta do is go down in the description down below, go find the link. It says Yeezy mask giveaway, click on it, follow all those entries, and for every single thing that you do, you do get one entry. Every single one does raise your chance in getting the mask. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, I'm just doing a story time on how I almost got the Yeezy Wave Runner. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it, and I mean, they don't even come out until like November, but I was literally this close to getting it. I actually had it and everything, but this is the thing. All right, let me start off how it all like happened. First of all, if you guys didn't know, the only way to get the shoe was to get it off yeezysupply.com. But the thing is that Yeezy or Adidas, ne nobody ever like announced where it, when it was gonna drop, where it was gonna drop, any of that. It was literally just a random drop, and if you got it, you got it. If you didn't, you didn't. So you get on the website, you add it to cart, you go ahead and check out. Some people check out, some people don't. Some people just, usually when it sells out, just you just can't check out, but some people do. Did, but unfortunately what Yeezy Supply did after people checked out they canceled a lot of orders They said that they were either like fraudulent Some people said that they got emails saying that they ordered more than one pair Which is true I mean like who wouldn't want to order more than one pair those shoes are going for like two grand right now So what they did with those canceled orders they sold them internationally So they sold them everywhere else except the US and Canada and I don't get why Canada is not international since it's not part of the US It just does not make sense But they just didn't sell it to Canada for some reason at the time when the regular drop happened I was in Peru and unfortunately I couldn't get it because I wasn't in the States and I was kind of bummed out I was like damn I couldn't get the shoe no matter what happened. I ended up finding out like three hours later. So there's there was definitely no way I was gonna get the shoe. But then randomly one day I was at my friend's house and I got a notification on my phone that Easy Mafia tweeted just literally just international shipping only or something like that. I didn't know what it was, but I opened it and then it was a Yeezy Wave Runner. So I quickly opened it, went to the website, clicked on the shoe. Well, I couldn't even find the shoe at first. I was like freaking out because I couldn't find the shoe. So I thought it was sold out. But then I scrolled down a little bit more and it was there. And I clicked on it. I checked out my size, size eight. First I had an error, it wouldn't go through. Then second time I did it again. I had to like change my billing address or something. And then it finally worked. After I checked out, I felt so good. I was like, damn, I actually got a pair of wave runners. I did not think anything was gonna happen. Like it checked out so smoothly. I thought everything went perfect. Like nothing felt wrong. Like you know there's those times where you like try to buy a shoe and you check out, but you have a feeling it's gonna get canceled. I didn't have that feeling. I actually thought I was gonna get the shoe. But unfortunately, what happened, I had to pay $350 because the shipping to Peru was $50 and they were charging $300 for the shoe, which is ridiculous. But no how much I could have got for the shoe or how much the shoe is worth I didn't mind paying 350 it's like paying for a easy 750 because those shoes do go for 350 retail I was so damn excited I was like so hyped for the rest of the day and then the next day what happened was I get an email from Yeezy Supply and I'm like damn what could it be like possibly another order confirmation or I don't know I don't know what it was I opened up the email and it says that it was canceled due to a fraudulent charge and I'm like how is it a fraudulent charge like I literally authorized the charge I don't know what I could have like done I probably typed in something wrong I don't know or they're just saying that in order to get like give an excuse to cancel my order maybe they oversold the shoe so they had to cancel some orders and i feel like mine was one of them a lot of international companies do that all the time like i know offspring did it to me one time overkill did it to me one time as well like they canceled my orders when i ordered a pair of shoes and they said that it was like due to fraudulent charges or some of them are honest and they said that they oversold the shoe which is fine but i feel like easy supply just made this an excuse which is bs because easy supply stays canceling orders that's pretty much the story i was literally this close i had the shoe i thought i was gonna get it and everything and then when it got canceled i mean i got bummed out obviously who's not gonna get bummed out about not getting the easy wave runner especially the og color especially the og colorway like that colorway is dumb hard to get the only way to get it was on yeezysupply.com i don't think they're ever going to drop on adidas.com or anywhere else that's according to Yeezy Mafia. That's what they said. If you guys did get the wave runner, let me know down in the comments below. I want to know how many people actually succeeded. If you got your order canceled, let me know in the comments down below as well. Because I know a lot of pairs did get canceled. A lot of people were complaining. I saw very few W's on there when I saw people like commenting on Yeezy Mafia's Twitter. As far as the fan of the day, today's fan of the day goes to Cam T. Big shout out to you, bro. You did enter the giveaway for the end of this month. If you want to enter the giveaway for the month, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and be one of the first people to comment notification squad on my latest video. And you will be fan of the day for the next video. Anyways, guys. Make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaky Sign Out.